You were worried for nothing, let's go. In one of these graves, there's a passage to another room. I just don't remember which one. It's definitely not the one in the center. Try the left one. Sorry, so the right side is one we needed. Finally. Don't touch anything. That's what we're here for, not to touch anything. That's it, perfect specimens. I said, don't touch anything. You'll take him, won't you? Get out. What the hell is going on? Oh, it's you. Glad you are alright, but this thing... You didn't have to kick the door down, I would have let you in. You probably are angry because I left you. I was just doing what I should. Let me tell you a story. Or it would be better if I show you. Take the tape and put it in the player. I've known this place for a long time. I was even part of a large research team once. It was only while exploring the burial grounds that one of the participants contracted an unknown contagion. It's the first time I've ever encountered such a disease. I'm afraid there's nothing I can do to help him. By the time we realized the disease was contagious, it was too late. It was a hard decision to make, but it turned out to be the only right one. We locked them in there, hoping they wouldn't last long without food and water. And so it happened. Yesterday, I was informed that the virus has returned. I want to study it and find a cure. I'm sorry for locking you in the crypt, but I thought that by sacrificing you, I could save many more creatures. But now that you're alive and know everything, I suggest we unite for the greater good, wouldn't you agree? Thank you. I've noticed that the glass is cracking. It's not likely to be a problem, but it's still a good idea to reinforce the glass. Find some glue and seal the cracks.
That's great. Now bring me five flasks of reagents. They should be in the chests. Thank you. No way, I did it. I found the cure. No, we'll have to check it out. To make sure the cure works, I'll have to infect you with the virus and then cure you. Why are you leaving? It won't hurt. I thought you said you were willing to help. You must do this. For the greater good. Oh, you're awake. I was hoping you'd be unconscious until I finished preparing the virus. Frankly, I'm disappointed in you. You've turned out to be a real coward. You don't realize what an important mission you've been entrusted with. So please, when I inject the virus, don't move. Well, I asked you not to. Oh no. I said get out. Why didn't you listen to me? I'll hold him off. 